New York City, home to the MoMA, the Met, the Guggenheim. But just a short ferry ride away brings you to another world of creativity. Here on Governor's Island, artists are chiseling, chipping, and chainsawing ice to create works they hope will inspire others to work with this unconventional medium. Okamoto Studio, an artist collective that specializes in ice sculptures, is sponsoring the event. Company founder Shintaro Okamoto isn't deterred by today's above freezing temperatures. It's a great time of the year to do this. You know, it's a little bit cold and, and to be able to you know, bring people here in this beautiful island, I think is, is what makes it really special. It's art on a deadline. The clock is ticking, the pressure is on. Artists have just two hours to complete these incredibly intricate and detailed sculptures, utilizing tools such as chisels, chainsaws, and blow torches. And it's all done live in front of an audience. And at a distance, right? Because it's I've a chainsaw. Well, yeah. I mean, for real. I've seen it done. They use either a chainsaw. I thought they use a hammer. And they, well, that, that depends. There's certain parts. I where think they certain use, parts yeah. they probably chip, chip away. Culture, but I think the main simple. chunks they take it off with yeah, the chainsaw. But, uh, Artists are transforming blocks of ice into a waving hand, a retro brick phone, a stretching dog, you name it. The winner will not only walk away with an ice cold trophy but $2,000. Hannah Schulman, who considers ceramics as her primary medium, won last year's competition. I think like just, it was like a brand new medium to work in and that was like really exciting and challenging. It was Schulman's first time sculpting with ice. Um, it was a lot of fun. People were all interested and excited and um, all the artists were super talented. So it was cool to see how different everyone's um, ideas and like style of working was. Um, some of them were very like geometric and some of them were much more organic. But is this art? While these pieces may not become frozen in time, ice sculpting captures the pure joy of the creative process, says NYU studio art sculpture professor Momoyo Torimitsu. It's more pure fun than, you know, show it as a contemporary art. It's, it's not like you think about this art, it's uh, where in this art history or uh, it belongs to which movement of art. It's not like that, just pure fun to just carving objects. This year, Ak Janssen walked away with the grand prize. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think everything came together successfully. I think more or less everything, you know, um, finished the way it's meant to be finished. So I think all the artists were really satisfied. And that, that's really a good feeling for us because our job was to make sure they succeed. Perhaps this event is just what's needed for a community to come together, make memories, and break the ice. For NYU Tonight, I'm Nathan Hughes. <laughs>I've, I've always grown up playing with ice because my father was an ice sculptor as well. So, you know, he was our master sculptor. He taught um, all the carvers that, that, that's uh, working with us today, even. Ooh, it's gotta be better than the Chainsaw Massacre, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and spoke about the, the possibility. <laughs> Should I start over? <laughs>